Hey everyone, I'm Whitney and this is my YouTube channel. Welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me slash ramble. We're gonna be doing an eyeshadow look using the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette, one of my favorites. So if you wanna see how I got this look, keep watching. Or if you just wanna hear me talk about stuff, or both. Okay. It has been well, actually, yesterday it was really nice. It was in the 70s, and then today it's like, I don't know, it's down in the 50s, I think. It's cold out there. It's rainy. I don't know. There's no consistency to the weather here. One day it's crazy sunny. The next, it is snowing. So I don't know what's the he what the heck is going on here. I'm not going to put on any primer or anything. I'm just taking my Cover FX foundation in the shade P10. <laughs> One of the lightest ones that they have. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm obviously white, so. Oh, this Cover FX foundation is called Power Play. It is a matte foundation. I usually use the natural finish foundation, but you know, I've got only so much left of that. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me just use this matte one. You guys, my skin has been so weird. Okay, so I used to take those, um, those pills from Tati Beauty for hair, skin, and nails. And I never noticed any difference in my hair. My nails, yeah, were sh a lot stronger. My skin, I don't know, like my face, it, it would clear up. I wouldn't get any cystic acne, but man, those pills are expensive. Like they're 40 bucks for a month's worth. But, uh, so yeah, I haven't been taking them and I've just been getting these little bumps on my forehead. Like I've never had those before. So I have, it's something so new to me and I don't know. Um, but anyways, yeah, those other pills will get rid of like the cystic acne. So that was really awesome. So now sometimes I still get that again, but whatever. Sometimes I do add foundation to my eyes. Sometimes I don't. Well, you know, my eyelids. So in the last video, we were talking about TV shows, right? I couldn't think of the names of a lot of shows and I, my mind just went blank on, well, what are we watching? Cause you know, we, we won't, <laughs> sorry, I've got gum. Um, we watch quite a bit of TV, you know, it's our leisure. We don't go out and party or anything. You know, we're introverts. We stay home. And uh, we like it that way. I mean, yeah, it's nice to get out every now and then, but usually when there's not people around. Anyways, some good things to watch are, I think it's called Key House. I think kids or adults could be into it. So that's really nice. Um, although depending on how young your child is, like maybe like seven or eight, eight, like it depends like if they, it sounds, it depends like if they have nightmares or not, it makes it sound like really bad, but it's about this house, key house obviously, and these keys do different things. And there's one key that you put into the door and it, you think of it in your head anywhere you want to go, as long as you've been there before or as long as you've seen it, like you could have seen it on TV or something, you can go there. So uh, that's really cool, like that is totally awesome. And it's, an, it's a fun show. And then, so me and my husband, we went through all that one. <laughs> Feels really weird without putting a primer on. I love to use, well, it's almost gone, but it's the blurring primer from Cover FX. I love that one, it's amazing. And it's vegan and cruelty free because we're all about saving the animals, right? Right. Oh, obviously, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys who have watched Stranger Things. That one's pretty cool. If you haven't checked it out, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> There's The Walking Dead, of course. Oh, you guys. So I have been watching 90 Day Fiance. What is it? 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days? It's season four. Like there are so many 90 Day Fiances. Like it's ridiculous. Like there's, I don't know, happily ever after 90 days the other way. I, I don't know. There's just so many and it's so confusing. I'm not one to put foundation on my lips. I think that's weird. Oh, so yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to think of what I was gonna do next. Should I use Toasty? 
or khaki for my bronzer. I think I'm just gonna go with toasty because, or I mean khaki because I'm feeling extra white today. Yeah, <laughs> not a very fun thing to say. <laughs> I'm just using my Sigma F25. All right, if you guys don't watch 90 Day Fiance, let me tell you what, if you're single, definitely watch it. It makes you feel so much better about yourself and your love life, like you're like, well, I'm just totally better off being single right now because <laughs> I mean, I could be in a relationship like that. It makes you appreciate the way that you live, I think. It is always so weird to me how many people are on there that are old. Like, you know, I think what happens, okay, we'll get back to that. But I think if you were to do like the 90 day fiance, I think, or something to meet somebody from another country who you didn't actually meet in that country, like that you were visiting or that they were here visiting or whatever. I think that's kind of odd, I guess. I mean, yeah, I guess we network with people and everything online and like there's this one guy I talked to and he, uh, <laughs> He lives in another country, but I actually, he's actually really cool. And here is his Instagram, whatever, handle. Um, oh my gosh, microorganisms, so amazing, you guys. Oh, oh my gosh. Like, that's how I first met him, is I had a question, and then so we started talking, but we never actually really met in person, but he seems like a cool guy. But, um... I, you know, I'm not looking for a relationship. <laughs> not that that's, I'm just saying another, you know. So that's different than actively seeking someone out on a dating site or a dating webpage for just certain countries. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I want to meet guys from, I don't, I don't know. Throw me a country. I don't know. I wasn't like trying to find somebody to be my friend from a different country who was into microorganisms. You know, that's not what I was trying to do. So it's like, why are these people, okay, I am taking way too long doing this, you guys. I normally don't take this long, but it, I just, sometimes I can't do two things at once, like talk and whatever. Actually, I'm doing three because I have gum, so. Yeah, oh my god. Sorry, it's my wrinkles. I hate them, they drive me insane. <laughs> oh, I was talking about my skin earlier. Lately, my skin's been like really combination. It's been so dry and then it breaks out at the same time. Do you guys know what's weird? Like, some people that I worked with around like the same age as me we're getting like Botox and stuff. I thought that was crazy. When you're starting to be around people who do that stuff, you're like, oh, wait, do I need that? I don't know, we'll talk about that in another video. I'm gonna make an, it's gonna be confidence thing. It's gonna be a whole, it's gonna be a whole thing. It's gonna be great, you guys are gonna love it. Uh, okay, so let's go on to something else because we've been here for a very long time. Sometimes I'll just do, 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 do that, whatever. Okay, yeah, so these people, I feel like are very desperate to find somebody for themselves. I feel like they think none of these relationships that I've had in America have worked. So I better, you know, try a whole nother country. You know, how about let's just try um, a whole different state first, you know? I mean, like you do you, but I'm not saying people from other countries are gonna want citizens citizenship to the US, but I mean, some of these people, it's like, yeah, I think they're looking, yeah, I think they're, that's what they're looking for. Now I lost track of what I was saying. Anyways, okay guys, I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay in the shade Exposed. This is a 12 hour blush because apparently, nothing for 24 hours, I, I don't know, it's whatever. But this is not vegan, so once, well actually I still have another, wait, do I? 
Yeah, I think I do still have another full one that I haven't opened yet, but once those are used up, I'm gonna be switching to a vegan blush. Cause like I said, we're all about saving the animals and being nice and all that. Cause we should love animals, not wear them. Ha ha. Yeah. Now it's kind of gross thinking about it. It's like there's crushed up bugs or something in here and it's like, I'm just, oh, oh, I'm putting them all over my face. Anyway, so these people are actively seeking people who they're like, oh, well, I hope they're not just in it for a meal ticket or to make their way to the US and whatever for better life and all this and that. It's like, okay, well, I feel like subconsciously it should be in your mind that somebody from another country maybe who it, you would not stand a chance with because your personality sucks and well, you don't have looks going for you. So I feel like a lot of these people that are traveling overseas to get their fiance or whatever, I don't think they're all that rich. I don't know. I mean, hey, I guess if it gets you in to where you want to be, then whatever. But I mean, yeah. We are going to take my highlighter in the shade True Mama. First, what I'm going to do is just spray my brush with some water. One of the really gross things though, I think, is when the somebody who's like 50 is going for somebody who's like 20. That's really weird to me. I feel like that's just too much of an age difference, but I guess, you know, they say age is just a number. But anyway, so there's this friend that I had and everybody would just call him age. So whenever he, somebody would say age is just a number, I'd be like, well, it's kind of more than a number, but okay, whatever. Like, so Rose and Ed. Rose is so freaking pretty, God. She is gorgeous. Oh, stunning. I think she's just like naturally beautiful, you know? Oh, okay, so the whole Ed and Rose thing is weird because he's so old and she's so young and it's just, it, it makes you feel awkward because you know he's all into her and she's not all into him. So I'm just pouring some water into my spray bottle. We're gonna skip that for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna go to Usman. I think that's how you say his name. I don't know. Usman and Lisa. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Theirs has just been really cringy and ugh, just really, I mean, like that woman is just, oh my God, like she is a freaking cougar, like, man. And I feel like when I say, when you say cougar, I feel like I'm thinking of like, you know, like I guess a trophy wife or, you know, a wife who's older and has got it going on, but uh, I, I don't really know the true definition of a cougar. Okay, Google, <laughs> what's the definition of a cougar? <laughs> it's gonna tell me it's a cat. Okay, nope, she's just gonna ignore me, never mind. I think it's so gross when somebody wants to have uh, relations or um... How do I say this without actually saying it? Get physical with somebody who's like 30 years younger with than them. That is just freaking weird to me. It's like, I can't even imagine being intimate with someone who is, I'm 20, I almost said 25, I'm 27 and I couldn't imagine being, I think, oh, even still, oh. I was gonna say 25 would probably be, you know, as as far down as, as I would go. I guess maybe I'm not that open-minded in that aspect, but no, 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 no. I, no. Yeah, no, 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 mm-mm, no. Oh, no. Sorry, I just started had to think about like if I didn't have my husband and how old, of a guy would I go for and it's like, wait a minute, I have to think 
here. Maybe a guy who's 10 years older than me, maybe. Maybe, but uh, yeah. And I guess, you know, if you fall in love with somebody, you fall in love with somebody. So, you know, you can't really choose how old they are. So that is that, but. Ooh, look at my little mustache thingy. <laughs> oh, last time I was con contouring my nose. Maybe I should do that again. Do you guys want me to do that again? Yes, okay. I cannot imagine being I, it's just, it's so strange to me. It's just, it's disgusting to me anyways. Like if that's what you're into, I guess, as long as the other person is consenting. Still gross. Anyways, so I'm taking my E75. This is my pencil and I'm going into the shade Khaki from my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer. And I am just going to go lightly on my nose. I don't know. We're just doing this. Sometimes this comes looking off and sometimes it looks okay. But, uh, you, yeah, so Lisa and Usman, when she first arrived there, Usman was at the airport to pick her up. So she's like 50 or something like that and he's... I don't know, he's in his 20s, I think. And one of the things that he said, okay, so now I'm just taking my P80 and just gonna blend this and I'm blending it down very lightly. He picked her up at the airport and one of the things that he said when, you know, they do the little interviews with the other person not there is that he won't, basically that he wasn't expecting her to be so fat. <laughs> yeah. So he took his friends there, which I guess this is what he was worried about is that she, I, I don't know. Cause I feel like you don't take your friends with you to meet your significant other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that's weird. Going back into my highlighter, And then you can tell that his friends, when they're loading up the car, they're just kind of like, like what? Oh, like man, <laughs> are you like, like, are you serious? And she's in the car by herself and it's like, honestly, I could think if that were me in the car, I'd be thinking, okay, you definitely know that you're, they're talking about you, you know? It would be so freaking awkward. Like, it doesn't take three of them to put luggage in a trunk, right? Like, it shouldn't. So, yeah. Ew, guys, they kept making out in the back of, the car, ew. Look, like, I maybe they should have like blurred that out or something because, you know, and, and one of his friends like, okay, guys, like chill out, calm down. Like you can just see. If, if it were me and they were, I was, if you're my friend and you're single, please do not pick up some old person well, I'm not saying that that person's old. I'm saying don't pick somebody up who's 30 years older than you, okay? Please, for the love of God, please don't. Because I'm probably not gonna be driving you around if that's the case. And we all know you love my Buick with the heated seats in the front. Well, actually it's just the one and it's on the passenger side because you know, the other one doesn't work. And, but at least we do have a sunroof. So that's cool, right? Yeah. And it's got a big trunk. It's got a lot of junk in the trunk. Um, no, it's got a big booty. It's like, it's so nice. I hate these little cars that have these little itty bitty trunks. It's like, well, what can you fit in there? Nothing. Like, I don't know. Guys, I just love, love, love highlighter. It used to bother me how it accentuated the texture on my skin, but now I'm just like, I don't really even care because I just love it. It's so shiny and bright. Some people put highlighter right here. You guys do that? Uh, ew, yeah, so they were making out. It's disgusting. Ew, and then they start talking about S-E. Once they get to the hotel or whatever, and it's like, oh, good Lord. Oh, like that's just nasty. Oh, and then she goes on about You guys are probably like clicking off of this video by now because of how 
gross. But if you're still here. <laughs> um, so yeah, she talks about how she uh, is his first woman, not the first one to have intercourse with him, but the first one to uh, to do the real deal. All natural, if you get what I'm saying. Ugh. I mean, oh my God. And then she goes on about how she had to teach him about oral and all this. Uh, yeah, that's cringeworthy. And then, okay, so we're going and use our primer potion or an eyeshadow primer or if you, any type of eyeshadow primer or if you don't have one, you can use your concealer or your foundation. So yeah, that was disgusting. So she's there to get his mother's blessing, you know, so that they can get married because in his culture, I guess, you know, he has to have the mother, she has, they have to have the mother's approval. A lot of cultures, I guess, is that way anyway. So, you know, it's just like, which I, I get in a cultural thing, like, you know, like, yeah. And so <laughs> it's like, this woman's white for one, okay? So that's already bad, all right? Because, you know, if you think you're, a, I mean, you can just think any mother's gonna want her son to, if she's, I guess maybe if she's not as modernized, you know, and not into, uh, yeah. Um, so she's going to want her son or her daughter to marry somebody of the same race, the same nationality, uh, the same culture, you know. So that's, that's just the way it is. And so this woman's white, okay, for one. So that's already no good. Then the fact that she's from a whole nother country. Mm -mm. But the worst of all, I think, is that she is, she's got to be older than this guy's mom. Like, I swear to God. And you guys, she smokes. Okay. I'm sorry. That is a disgusting habit. It stinks. And you know what? I am very judgmental about that, I guess. Not like to your face, but I've had so many freaking asthma attacks because of people who are smoking. I feel like in some cases I could uh, try to sue for attempted murder because, you know, secondhand smoke kills. So somebody could have been trying to murder me for all we know. Don't get any ideas. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set this with my Kylie setting perfecting powder and using my E25. Yeah, so I'm just like, ugh, cause that would be, in my book, smoking is a total deal bre breaker. Like I couldn't do that. Doesn't matter how much I like you. I just, I couldn't do that. I can't. Ew, and she keeps calling his mom Mommy, get mommy's blessing. What does mommy say? And it's like, it's just weird. Oh, well, there's the whole language barrier, okay? So like, if you're not gonna learn the language or whatever, it's like, or the culture or anything. Like, this woman went over there and didn't know anything about his culture. Or that's how the show made it appear, you know? Okay, so we're going into our Huda Beauty palette. Okay, so we're gonna actually go into this shade here with our E35. We're gonna apply this to a crease. So she went there without having any knowledge of what his culture is about or anything, you know? So that's already, like if you wanna marry this guy, you should probably be learning a little bit. Like I know it's hard, like if you're, not over there, but he is Muslim, I think. I don't know. So if he's Muslim, it's like, okay, so she could have, you know, learned a few things about that. And I'm not just, I'm saying, you know, at least do a little bit of research. It's not gonna be the exact same as if you're there doing it and whatnot, but yeah. So you could see she goes in and to pray and she has no idea what the F she's doing, which is how I feel like when I go to a Catholic church, 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 
service or wedding or funeral or anything. Like, I have no idea what's going on. I mean, like, when I've gone to church, I'm used to the minister, the preacher, whatever, being like, please rise and you may be seated and then that so you can follow along if you've never been there. You just, there's just a system them to it where if you've never done it, it makes it easier to follow. With Catholic, it's just kind of like you have to follow the person next to you or the person in front of you or whatever. And, and it's not that it's like the feeling of, oh, everybody's doing this without me. It, or, you know, it's like, oh, I'm not in, in their club. <laughs> It's, um, no, I have no idea what the F I'm doing. I am so lost. It has nothing to do with me not being an actual part of it. It's just me not knowing. It's just the feeling, you know, you guys know, like if you're lost, something, it's it's not a good feeling. You're just kind of like, what the heck in any situation, you know? Yeah, so she's like trying to ask him questions during the praying time or whatever. And it's like, what? Like, come on. Obviously the women and the men aren't lined up together. So it's like, stop making him turn around. I feel like that's just even more disrespectful. Like I get what they were trying to do. Like saying like, oh, okay, see, she's gonna learn the culture and everything. But it's like, I don't know, have a little bit of knowledge before you go in there, you know? Okay, we're gonna take this brown center shade here, apply it to the corner of our eyes using that same E35. So, you know, Mummy keeps saying no for her blessing and at one point she like walks, like during the first meeting, she walks away like it's like, no, I said no, whatever, like I'm done. And I don't blame her, man. I would have been the same way. I would try to be open-minded and everything, but no. So I completely get why her mother was, why his mother wasn't approving. But in the end, guess what? She does end up approving. And I think it's because her son starts saying that, you know, he wants to go to America because this is going to be a better opportunity for him to make money and a better chance at a career. So I think, I don't know. It's, she said that she saw that they loved each other or whatever, but no, you can see he says like he was only attracted to her 70%, whatever. So we're gonna go in with this shade here. I'm gonna go into the crease just a little bit. It's such a B and the way she talks, her voice is, I don't know. She She's a smoker. Little bit in the corners and the crease. She's not very nice, you guys. Like she cannot understand his career. Like, okay. <laughs> you guys. Oh my god, okay, so he has this song that he wrote for her, okay? Baby Girl Lisa or whatever, and it's totally auto-tuned. Anyways, he has this song. There's a music video that they made to it, and she didn't like it because that music video had a different girl in it. It wasn't her. That's how things work, you know? Like if you're a model, a photographer is not gonna be taking pictures of you and your boyfriend, I mean, Unless, you know, it's your wedding shoot, whatever, or an engagement shoot, you know? If you're a model, they're not gonna be taking pictures of you with your boyfriend. They're gonna be taking pictures of you with another model, a male model, you know? Because that's how it works. There are some instances where some people will use their significant other in their music videos, but usually it's just an actor and that's the norm. So she was just so freaking jealous. And I mean, I guess I get why she'd be jealous because, um, you know, she's kind of a lot older than him. <gasps> so uh, <laughs> it's probably not gonna be around her that long. And maybe that's what he's thinking too. Okay, well, she's old, so maybe she'll die soon so I won't have to be with her that long. We're gonna go into this shade here. So, she threw a fit about his music video, all right? So he ends up changing it and at the premiere of his video, <laughs> the music video sucks. It doesn't go with the song. <laughs> and then you guys, oh, this is horrible. Like I felt so bad, but at the same time, it was just like, ugh. 
at the end of it he put something like dedicated to my fiance Lisa and it has her picture. Yeah I feel really mean talking about this now but it's just like what are you doing? The crowd was silent. Oh and not only that but he had her stand up. Well I don't know if he had her stand up but she stood up like if I were, I don't think I would be standing up because nobody was clapping or anything before that. So I would have probably just sat there all embarrassed. But she's like, yep, that's me. Uh -huh. I'm so proud. Uh -huh. And it's like she didn't even notice. Like, I guess maybe that's a cool thing to not be aware of other people. But I don't know. This guy, Usman, is trying to get his friends to tell her that's a big deal to, to move around and, and make a new video and everything. And that could ruin his career and everything and she doesn't give an F. She's like, you're so disrespectful, blah, blah, blah. It's like, um, right, right. Yeah, she's got jealousy issues, but like I said, well, okay, so there was this one where some girl is commenting a heart or something on his Facebook page, like on a picture or something, I don't know. But it's like, okay, so he's a celebrity over there, whatever. It's like, of course he's gonna get that kind of stuff. And it's just a heart. It's just a heart. All right, so we are going to take our E37 all over blend and just blend this. So yeah, she has no respect whatsoever and she just walks away anytime she doesn't wanna hear something. She is just very, mm-hmm. TLC or whatever interviews a couple of people after the show. You know, what did you guys think of the music video and all this and they're like, it sucked. Basically that it sucked and that why the heck is he with her like, He's only after her money, like run and all this stuff. Okay, so I'm taking my E06 and we're gonna go into this shade in the center. So she's talking about, you know, like, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're done, I done everything Usman's told me to to get his mother's approval. You know, I prayed with them, I got the goat. It's like, yeah, don't you think his mother knows that he's telling you to do this stuff, you know, that it's not actually you? It's, I mean, it's great to put in an effort and whatnot, but it's just like, you you think that's gonna get... If I was his mother, my whole issue would be that she is older than me. Like, that's... Mm -mm. Usman took Lisa to the recording studio where he recorded her song and then <laughs> he took her to meet the uh, producer or whatever. He introduces it, this is baby girl Lisa. The dude just laughs, like, is like a joke and oh my goodness. It was just uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable watching that, but it's just, it, I don't know. There's just something about it that you're just like, oh my God. Oh, also there's this one dude on there. His name is Ash, okay? Now, I don't know why this girl, he's dating Avery. I don't know why she's attracted to him. I don't get it. He's not, he's not good looking at all. And okay, now we're going into this shade here. He seems like he's kind of in love with himself. The worst thing of all is his eyes are like, it just creeps me out. like. You know, I guess I do that when I'm doing my makeup, but for anything else, it's like, what the F is going on? So I'm on like trying to find episode, well, I watched part of 10, I don't know. So I just try to find it anywhere where it's free. Okay, taking our E20, we're going to smudge this. He talks about how he's a relationship coach, which I don't get. He's a relationship coach for women though. Okay, for women. Which I guess, you know, if you're gonna be in a relationship, you want, I guess, a guy's perspective so he can tell you what you're doing wrong. But why ask your boyfriend what you're doing wrong? Why not just ask, you know, a completely different person who's not in your relationship whatsoever because that sounds like a good idea. No, I, I get it, especially if you're first starting off, but I feel like, you know, if you're having problems with your relationship, the one person you need to talk to 
is the one you're in a relationship with, okay? And if that doesn't work, then you probably need to get a counselor or some therapy. Like, it's, it's fine, you know? Anyways, he's like, that's probably really intimidating. Well, that's not how he talks, but it's a guy voice. So he's probably really intimidating for her. So we're just going to use this cut crease E62. I'm gonna spray it. We're going to go into this shade here. Yeah, he likes to think of himself as, I don't know, like a gift to women, I guess. I don't know, probably. I have no idea, but that's just the impression I get. Avery confronts him about, she saw 68 text messages on his phone or something, 68 missed text messages. And <laughs> she wasn't too thrilled about that, which I mean, and these are from all different women, you know? Okay, so the only time I feel like I would have ever gotten 68 messages from people, um, honestly, would have been when my psycho ex was being psycho, which was a lot. Like, I don't know how many messages you get a day from the opposite sex. Even if you're in a relationship. I don't know. Like, what's the average? I don't know. Maybe I don't have many friends. But that's not the point. She says something about, you know, do these girls know that you're in a relationship? And he says something like, no, I'm single. And it's like, what? Dude, this girl just flew so far and you say you're single and he's like no i mean yeah it, it's just mm -hmm. a lot of guys would say that you know they i feel like they would be keeping their options open because i feel like that's what a lot of guys would do oh yeah no we're not in a relationship we're just hanging out you know so she's supposed to be going to listen to one of his seminar where mostly single women go so i need to i need to i need to look to watch that and see what happens oh so let's talk about Ed and Rose. Rose grew up, or her place is very poor, okay? And takes them back to like this shack or whatever, the back of her sister's store. And they have a table there, you know, like it's, it's obviously not like what we're used to. He is very uncomfortable with it. Rose's dad tells Rose that I guess he wants to shout or with uh, Ed, okay? So Ed's like, uh, okay, um, all right, sure, whatever. So he goes, they go into this, I, I don't know, it's still part of the same area and they start, well, they dip their cups into, I cannot think of the name, but this big barrel and they get the water out and then, you know, they start, pouring it on themselves. It was very, very cold for Ed. We're going into this shade here. He wasn't really digging that and Rose is there kind of helping both of them or whatever because she ends up bringing the hose. We're applying this to our inner corner and blending it out. So she brings the hose to hose them off, you know, after they're done washing with soap and she starts doing that and that water is so cold and he's like, okay, okay, okay. And that was funny. That was funny. Oh my God, but you guys. Okay, so he's like, what is that? He looks over and there's something by his flip flops. And she goes, mouse, I think. And he's like, mouse, you mean a rat? That thing was huge, it was a rat. And she's like, Probably. That's the part that really would have gotten me is the whole the whole mouse thing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess if you guys haven't watched that, well, I guess now you don't need to, or maybe you do. Now you need to see what I'm talking about. Maybe I didn't explain it very good. I don't know. Oh, would you guys oh wait, maybe I shouldn't be asking you this because now it after I just gave my judgment. <laughs> do you guys ever date anybody who's like 30 years older than you? I can't think of any other shows right now, which I know there's more, I'm sorry guys. Oh, so you guys, I've got my plants growing. I've started them indoors because there were some that didn't make it the end of last year because they were, it was my pepper plants. They were just starting to come up. I mean, they were already up, but the peppers were starting to, you know. Um, I've started a lot of plants indoors and I am so excited to get the garden going like that's, makes me so happy and 
I just, I love watching the plants grow. So I'm trying to do like a compost thing, you know? I was gonna work on that today, but uh, it was raining, so I'm like, yeah, probably not the best time to do this. Especially because, you know, I was gonna use chicken wire to make the round thingy to compost, so yeah. Do you guys compost? Do you guys have a garden? Do you guys like doing any of that stuff? Makes me so happy because plants are life. Yeah, and I told myself, you guys, I told myself that I couldn't have my ice cream or a candy bar until after I filmed, and this is gonna be a long video to edit too. I'm just gonna use my Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes mascara. I'm not gonna use any primer just because I don't feel like it. Oh, but you guys, the Ozarks. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, right? I mean, like, what should we talk about? I feel like we've got that awkward silence now. God, you guys, see, I know there's more stuff that I watch. Oh, yes! Sex education, that one's funny. It's uh, this kid Otis, right? So he's a teenager and his mother is a sex therapist and she ends up teaching at his school. <laughs> embarrassing um but yeah so it, it is funny it's funny you guys have to watch it it addresses a lot of things that I think a lot of kids go through and there's a lot of humor in there too and it just gets very real so that's another good one we watched what is it big head big face or something like that yeah that one's kind of dumb but whatever I mean, it's funny sometimes. Oh, you guys, if you haven't, watch Blackfish on Netflix. Oh, okay, so we're gonna add some lipstick to this. We're gonna go with Coco. I'm not lining it, or just doing this. So here's the final look, guys. I know I'm happy, but I feel so lost. Like all these people are just blending in the one. I'm just holding on to you, you're gone. Every time it's dark, I'm only running for myself. I wanna love you, but you're somewhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Wow, I look crazy. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's looking himself and he's making weird noises. <laughs> Let's talk about that a little bit. Actually, wait, is it time? Ooh, yes, okay. Like I said, don't judge my hair. Or do, whatever. <gasps> Prince, come here! Come here, say hi to your fans! Come here! Hi. Look, oh, you're too cute. Okay, fine. Losing it again. I almost contoured with my highlighter. That would have been very nice. Oh, my husband just texted. And then she, uh, what is it? Hang on, I lost my train of thought. I don't know, like big Ed's or Ed's and uh, Rosa's, Rosa's, Rose is, Ed's and Rose's, Ed's and Rose's, Rose and Ed's. <sighs> My eyelids feel heavy now. So, yeah. To do, to have sex, to do it, God. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna go with this. Hang on here, guys. I'm looking for my brush. I had it setting out. I don't know why I can't find it. Anyways.
So, yeah. There's that. Oh my gosh, I just cannot seem to get it. I cannot think today. I was saying something about 90 Day Fiance. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my. Oh, so she talks about. Okay, so I'm taking my EO6. Oh, I think that's the UPS. No, they must have stopped somewhere else. I don't see them. I don't know. Um, and you're. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Wow, like my eyelashes just all clumped together right there. What is going on? You know, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just wetting my beauty blender with my water bottle because this was really wet. Uh, but apparently I waited too long to actually start filming. Okay, a little bit more. Uh, Ugh. Oh, wait, real quick. 90 Day Fiance the other way. I can't think of the, the, the thing, if they made one season of that or what it is. But if you guys haven't watched that, watch that one. That one's cool. It's where the, obviously, people from America go to other countries and are looking to get a, uh, a, a visa or citizenship, whatever, over there. So that's interesting. And that was pretty good. Okay, so what was I saying? Um, it's cold. It is, it is really cold, you guys. My face feels so tight. Oh, we got it all over the mirror. See? Oh, look, you guys. <gasps> Why are you looking at me? Let me just make sure this is still working. Yep, okay. It's been on red for the longest time. I'm not sure when it's gonna die. It's a microphone. Anyways, wow, that did not, I mean, it did take long and looks like it's been filming for like 23 minutes. Like I said, I didn't do everything that I normally do. Oh, I'm looking for my breath. I mean, he's, he's gotta be looking for younger women, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>